Hi guys, sorry. So you could see better my beautiful face. <laughs> I thought I'd clean my phone. How are you? Can you hear me well? Or shall I use the microphone? I'm just gonna wait and see whoever's gonna join this live can tell me if they can oh shall I show you my dinner 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 see the fish this massive yeah it's probably um, and then there's some uh, vegetables vegetables oh yummy yeah I'm gonna eat the whole thing today I eat the whole of this fish this year full one just like that oh someone's joined Hi there, let me guess, it's relaxing. Is that you? Because I know you have a CCTV on me. Every time I go live, you're there. Relaxing, is it you? Tell me. Like, uh, whoever is here, can you tell me if you could hear me well? Or if I should use the microphone? Let me switch off the car. Oh, four people. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. How are you? Right, let's see. I think this is going to be... Please tell me if this is better. Yeah, basically, I want to talk about something which I've been talking to my friend about. Let me see if this is how I can put it in a way that you're going to be comfortable for me. Oh, hey, Alan. Hi, darling. So, what, what, what do you mean sound is okay? Sound is good. I'm using microphone. Surely it should be good, not just okay. Please tell me. Do you know I feel so fat today for some reason? I've had so much food yesterday. I don't know if it's because I was... I knew I was going on this five days detox and yesterday I just couldn't stop myself eating. I was like that. Um, but anyway, I want to talk about this subject, about why men play it safe nowadays. And do you know what I think? This is where they're going wrong because high quality women, and I'm not referring to myself before any haters say that you're not a high quality woman, uh, they see this so when the man is playing safe high quality women see it and they ain't going to be going for that man so when you do play safe that means you're already uh, really losing a lot of good women what the reason i'm talking to you uh, about this today <laughs> me and my friend um we um, talk about dating and stuff like that all the time, you know. I mean, we talk about a lot of things and not just men. Career, loads of health, loads of different things. But anyway, lately um, we've been discussing that men don't make an effort to come uh, to your area. So let's say I live in Chelong and the guy that you met is in Bank Tower you know, in Phuket, he literally would be expecting to meet halfway. And I'm thinking, wh where are the days when the guy drive to you and pick you up? Where are those days? Can someone tell me? So I don't get it. Like, can someone explain to me? I know I have a lot of male audience. So my question to you is, why do you expect... Okay, first of all, you asking me out. So you saying, oh, shall we, shall we have a date? Shall we go for food? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know why I'm wearing a hat because I'm not outside anymore. What's this? Yeah, and then, so you asking me out and then you expect me to drive and meet halfway. I don't get it. And why do you class driving for 20 minutes is making a lot of effort i asked one guy he said to me oh if you're in the area then let me know and i'm like if you can't be bothered to drive 20 minutes to meet me i'm not interested in meeting you at all 
because if you're not making an effort at this stage, where, what's going to happen when we do have a family and we going through some hard time? Because if you're lazy, and do you know what? I almost, and, and then one guy said to me, yeah, but if I knew you make, how did he say it? Hold on a second. I'm just trying to remember it. He said, if I knew you are worth it, I would drive. I'm like, hold on a second. So, of course, okay, you haven't met me, so you don't know if I'm worth it. And you can't just, you know, you can't just look at the pictures because you know what nowadays you could do with filters and everything else. Like, nobody looks how they do. Apart from me, guys, I do look how you see me and I look better. Uh, that's what people when they meet me they say oh my god you're so much more beautiful I was like what do you mean <laughs> do I look ugly <laughs> when I'm online but basically that when the guys say like this oh if I if I know you make an effort then I'd make an effort I would consider them as someone who's not taking a risk and if the guy is not taking the risk I almost equivalent this to lack of ambition ambition because for me taking a risk is like being ambition that trying you know taking yourself out of your comfort zone uh, you know gambling I, I, I think that is very male energy and I think that is very very attractive so when I meet a guy and actually this applies to a lot of my girlfriends as well so I'm not just talking on my behalf as you know I have a lot of girlfriends a lot like I talk to women on an hourly basis in my dancing classes in my yoga classes you know for lunches for dinners like I have a big community of women and we talk about these subjects all the time sometimes I feel sorry for the tables that's uh, next to us in the restaurant and most of the time that actually the car is not nice by the way it is a shit car someone asked me today what's the name of your car I'm thinking it's that shit that I don't even know the name of it. I said, I know it's not Mercedes. <laughs> Guys, it's Ford. A Ford. Yeah, it's a shit car, in my opinion. But Ford, if you are watching this live, please don't be upset. But it is shit. I'm sorry. So anyway, let me not know, lose my thought. And I'm getting hot. Wait. Basically... Where was I? I've lost the thought. Oh, look at this woman just smoking. Disgusting. You'll see her in the background now. Beautiful woman, but why is she smoking? Can you see her? Bleh. I've lost the thought now. What was I saying? About not having balls. Yeah, when the guy is not taking risks, I don't think that's very attractive, in my opinion. You know, let me see what you guys are saying here. Damn, she's stream streaming again. Oh no, hold on a second. Hi, relaxing. Hello, glamorous lady. Do you think that's a glamorous outfit? <laughs> it's my gym outfit. Right, so this person, Corin Wallace, you why are you joining my stream? You don't have to join my stream. You know that, right? But uh, just for you, just for your reference. Alan, men should always be chilvarious. What, what does that mean, chilver chilvarious? Don't know what that means. Towards a woman, pick her up, pay, and pay attention to her needs on a date. I mean, it doesn't have to be always, but I think in the beginning, I think the guy need to show that and you know what men complain oh the women are not feminine enough but sometimes I think well you making us not feminine enough because if you expect me to drive halfway or pay half for dinner that's a very male energy so you are designing us to be in this way because you know with the right man a woman will be feminine do you understand what I'm saying? So if you guys think that you're not, sur you're not surrounded by feminine women, I'm sorry, but that suggests a lot to me about you, you know? 
some guys don't like the drama if they've got the swag they don't need to work as hard it's nothing to do with drama well what do you consider drama me hoping for a guy to pick me up not expecting uh it's fine i don't mind meeting at the restaurant or driving where you know to, to a location but it's a nice thing i think especially in the beginning when we at the dating stage of course when we in relationship you know i one day i do more next day you do more so it's a bit of a it's like a teamwork but in the beginning I feel that the guy needs to graft more. Do you know another interesting thing that I was discussing with my girlfriend? Uh, okay, and don't judge, right? I'm sure you're going to judge anyway, but I'll say it anyway. Okay, for a woman to attend a date, that's already costing her a lot. This is why I want to explain to you guys why you expect it to pay for a dinner. Because... Most of the time, we women, I don't know if you didn't know this, and maybe this is a news to you, but very often, if we like a guy and we're going on a date, we will be buying something new. Just to feel good, just to feel sexy, just to feel attractive, we like to wear new things. So if we want to impress the guy, nobody wants to wear the old shit that they wore before, or they've got the pictures on the Instagram. So that means you're buying a new dress, right you buy the new heels you count that already do the calculation all right so that's already the the cost of the dinner <laughs> right new dress new shoes often she would even have a, a blow dry right or at least she would put the makeup does her that's already like two hours times that by the hourly pay you count that <laughs> so this is this this is what we were discussing with the girlfriends that if i'm getting ready for a date i'm already like spent a lot before i even got there so when the guys what the guys needs to do just roll out of bed and brush teeth and spray a bit of aftershave and that's it nails you would want a fresh manicure as well you know, and pedicure, you know, makeup, do you know how much makeup is? It costs a lot. So, you know, once you calculate all that, you think, well, I've already spent a lot of money going to this date. So the minimum that you could do is to offer to pay for food, you know? Let me see what else have you got here. Um, yeah, clarify what you mean by drama shit box 2000 so i don't know what that means i am a 65 healthy canadian who is looking to match with the 55 plus russian euro what cities should i try to meet thanks in advance first of all my question is to you why are you going for 55 plus you want somebody 10 years younger are you fit enough to keep up with a 55 year old russian or european woman you Canadian guy just a question weed is fine not cigarettes right how is this uh, relevant talking a lot and the British accent doesn't help I, I don't have I have Latvian accent it's not British Natalia you a gangster girl how am I a gangster girl I do have a little bit of gangster in me I'm mischievous but at least you're never gonna be bored with me that's for sure I prefer women to dress feminine and look good. Same. I prefer a lady to be feminine, to dress nice, to wear heels, to smell good. Uh, I, her grooming needs to be at the high level. You know, the, the, I, the same. I expect that from myself and from my girlfriends, you know. So, yeah, I, I'm with you on that one. What the fuck? <laughs> Arohi. What do you mean, what the fuck? This fuck is Natalia's channel, if you wonder what this is. Why is it all about the women, selfish? Listen, it's not all about the women. It's not all about the women. I'm just saying, for a woman to prepare for a date, it costs a lot of money. And you guys 
guys may not know this you guys think we roll up out the bed looking like this not like i am now of course i'm just from the gym so i don't look particularly you know fresh but it's already a lot of effort so the minimum that i would expect from a guy is to travel to where i am or pick me up or you know or pay for the dinner that's minimum and you may consider this as a high maintenance but if you consider that as high maintenance you're not the guy for me nor for my girlfriends because that is not high maintenance that's standards that's basics oh god i'm gonna get a lot of hate now i'm gonna get a lot of hair i'm cold now right um i've always thought if i'm not willing to put in the effort at the start make the moves take the chance yeah, i'm not really into her well exactly that's what i've said to my girlfriend yesterday i said look if the guy's in patong and you in chilong and it takes 20 minutes on the bike to get to you and he can't be fucking bothered to do that i said don't even entertain don't entertain tell him to f off and wank <laughs> or get a cheap date you know, not a high quality woman. Somebody in Tong on a walking street. It'll be plenty of women after him. But if you want somebody a bit of a higher caliber with a class, then you need to graft. Okay, simple as that. Like, you know, people just think, oh, they're going to get a good woman like this. No, for a good woman, you have to graft. You have to put a work in. And I think same applies for us women. A good guy would have high standards so you need to look good you need to be feminine you need to be i don't know educated you need to the grooming needs to be uh you know 10 out of 10. right what else i buy new things for the dates as well do you okay that's nice that's good to know what about my new clothes and travel and the food and the drinks and the transport home is this coming from the guy Shane Shane is that a guy's name Shane Harvey but do, do you also buy new clothes oh okay let me ask you a question Shane if you're a guy so do you expect a woman to pay for 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 food like go 50 50 when you're on a date is that what you expect just wonder women's clothes are cheap not necessarily i can say the same about men's clothes you go and sheen and for 200 baht you can buy yourself a nice um, polo shirt or t-shirt you know for men they don't need to try hard enough in terms of their um, clothing white t-shirt or you know polo shirt navy chinos or navy shorts that's it job done you know we women need to get an underwear, then the dress, then the heels, then the dr then the bag to match the dress, then the lipstick to match the dress, then the nails to match the whole outfit. You know, our life is a lot more complicated, guys, than your life. Right. Uh, weed is amazing. What irrelevant. Natalia, you drive me wild. <laughs> what, John, in what way? In what way? In a, I'm sure in a good way, right? To get your pulse uh, up and running, up and going. Right. Who is getting dating advice from someone who, by the looks, has been struggling? Okay, this is my question to you. What made you think that I'm struggling? Do you understand that I only feed you the information that I want to feed? My private life stays private. Not hating, just curious. No, listen, I'm not saying that uh, you're hating me. Just don't assume that what you see is, is, is the reality or you know everything by just one video or two lives a week. You know fuck all, in fact. Sorry for swearing. Because I don't know, I don't show half of the things. Because like I said... You know, my romant romantic relationship, I would not show to the entire world. You know, I want to keep it private. 
so is my money and my business. You know, I only say certain things. Yeah, because some things I just prefer to keep. You know, I'm very outspoken. That, that That's, yeah, I agree on that. Yeah, and sometimes I say things that I don't mean. But by the time I said it, it's already too late. But at least I'm honest, I'm genuine, I'm open. So, you know, of course, sometimes I regret things that I say, but it's too late. It's already out there, you know. But don't be fooled. But just because I'm outspoken that I tell you everything, I don't. A lot of secrets. <laughs> it's like Mary Mary Poppins. It's not true. It costs you nothing. What do you mean it costs you nothing? Shane, if you're a man, how do you know how much my clothes cost? Don't think you know it all, because you don't. John, Natalia is not struggling. Thank you, John. Natalia is definitely not struggling. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, so what if you met a guy you really like, Natalie, I'm Natalia, not Natalie, but it's fine, and he doesn't have the money. Do you know what? I did a, uh, no, I had a, I had a situation actually once in Latvia that I liked poor guy, like he was poor, you know, no, no real job, no real education, you know, you may think he's a loser. But I actually genuinely liked him and that made me realize, you know, that I can like a poor guy. <laughs> this is terrible. No, but look, I'm saying it how it is. Of course, I prefer him to have a bit of money. Not, not rich. He doesn't have to be rich. We can do everything together. That's not a problem. I will motivate you to have a shit loads of money. I'm very good in motivation. So don't you worry. When you're with me, you'll be earning shitloads. <laughs> but yeah, no. So re money is not everything. For me, he's got to have a good heart to be a kind person. If he's vile and mean to other people, I wouldn't like the guy like that. No, he, you know, I want him to be mature. It's not to do with age. It's to do with brain. And of course, I like nice teeth, nice eyes and height. What else have we got here? Have you hit the wall already? A uh, cowboy from Norway. <laughs> I have hit the wall. I'm doing extremely well. Thank you very much. Do you truly think I struggle? Do you tr like not to be big headed, but do you truly think I'm struggling for men attention? Guys, I'm not. Right, but it, you can think whatever you want to think. If a guy, if a guy will marry you, right? He won't last much, maybe three, five months. But why? Why do you think that? I'm actually very loyal. The relationship that I've ever, ha I've ever had, like I've had, sorry, one was nine years, you know, one was two years. I'm very loyal. I'm someone that, you know, will never cheat. Yes, I might be a bit pushy, but at least with me, you know that when I'm with you, I'm with you. You know, no games, done it all, been there, done that, you know, not interested. My lover's got no money, he's got his strong beliefs. My my lover's got no, what was this? Is this a song? John, is this a song? No idea what the song is. I would never expect it, never. Mm, I would never ask a woman to pay. I like, ne which is a good thing, UK boss. Sometimes I may offer and I might say, oh, look, I take care of it. And I've done that previously with my ex-boyfriends where we would go on holiday and I'm like, look, I want to treat you for dinner. Let's go. I'm paying. I'm paying. Or I would buy him an expensive gift. Who drives Porsche in Thailand? Only my neighbor. Very interesting. I don't like Porsche, by the way. Um... Yeah, and I could get buy a gift, you know, a very expensive gift. So it's just in the beginning, if the guy is already thinking, oh, I need to make it cheap, playing it safe, then that's not the guy that I want, you know? If 
I am with him and let's say we want to start a family, I want to have a confidence that the guy would be able to provide when I'm pregnant or I don't have ability to work, that the guy have an ability to provide for me and our child. This is why we women sometimes thinking that way, thinking, oh, if you can't fucking pay for a dinner, what's going to happen when I'm expecting our child? Do you understand the psychology? This is how we connect, not that we're superficial bitches and we want, you know, gold diggers and we want free food. I can buy myself a food, 200 baht, the most amazing dinner. I don't need to go on a stupid date, listen to the bullshit just to get a free food. I'd rather watch Netflix, eat my lovely fish, and that's that and being silent and listen to any BS. Do you understand? Right. But I wouldn't date a lady that expects, why do you write in capitals? Is that means that you're raising the voice? Expects me to provide everything for her. No way. My soul is just as valued as yours. Did I, look, you see how you're twisting everything, Shane? I didn't say everything not providing everything, have ability to take care when I am expecting our child. That's different. That's not expecting everything. This is why sometimes, this is guys, you're not listening properly to what I'm saying and you interpreting information in your own way based on your own insecurities. I didn't say everything. What I said, and I'm going to reiterate the message, what I said that in the beginning, when we are going on a date, in the beginning, it is nice if the guy takes care of the bill without expecting a woman to pay 50-50. It's nice if the guy travels to a lady's place, either picking her up or meeting in that location. That's what I said. I didn't say, oh, I want my guy to pay for everything. That's not what I said. So I don't understand, Shane, why you're putting it in this way. You're making it up, basically. A guy can wear the same $5 shirt until it dis 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 whatever the word is, I can't pronounce it. Of course, the guy can wear a $5 shirt. There's nothing wrong. You know, I don't care about how much clothes are. I used to care when I used to be in a luxury managing luxury brands you know uh, but I had to look a certain way because I was representing a brand um, now I don't give a fuck honestly I can buy I can buy stuff from Sheen Azara don't care really don't care right shall we date Matty and child <laughs> we can talk face to face well listen I need to know who you are before I can respond if we can date. When I was dating, I've, I have even paid for the lady's outfit and hair. Alan, that's a bit too much. For me, that is taking it to another level. If we're in a relationship and you said, hey, babe, you know, I want to, you know, go and have your hair done. You know, I'll pay for it. That's nice. But. If we're just going on a date, that's a little bit escort kind of thing. Yeah, I wouldn't pay for that if I was a guy. That's a bit too much. I would plan the date metish, meticulously what I'm going to wear. Okay. In the worst way, right. It is obvious you are so pretty. What You are literally so stunning. Bella. Thank you. Bella, is that a guy or a girl? Or a girl? If it is a girl, I like compliments from women. Ring or it didn't happen? What do you mean ring or it didn't happen? Do you mean with my exes? No, with one, I nearly said yes. I had a ring. But then I felt that we were going in the wrong direction. His way of living was to be dodgy. And for me, I don't want to live and be at home thinking he might be arrested any day.
you know, don't get me wrong, I, I'm all up for playing the system and, you know, avoiding tax when you can. <laughs> if H&R revenue from UK watching this live, hello, to pay taxes. <laughs> but when it's to another level, yeah, I, I just, yeah, we were going in the wrong direction. I was like, no, I, I need to, to have some sort of stability some sort of feeling of security and not thinking you might get arrested somewhere you know uh why can't you keep a man what made you think that i can't keep the man i can't keep the man sometimes um i moved so the relationship ended because of me moving and long distance relationship it can work but i'd rather not do it you know i prefer my guy to be near uh, you know in proximity in my nearest proximity some relationship ended because i was no longer feeling sexual connection and for me it's important you know i always say if i don't want to see you naked there is a problem and I know my mom says, oh, you know, but it won't matter when you're older. But for me, it's important. You know, I need to fancy a guy who's lying next to me and not see like, oh, it's like a job to do. So sometimes it was that. And for me, like, I don't want to go and cheat. A lot of women, when they don't get sex for whatever reason, either the guy doesn't want them or the husband doesn't want it or whatever, they go and find it elsewhere. I'm not like that. You know, I am, if I, if I don't fancy anymore, I, I just end things and I say, I'm sorry, but you're a great guy, like amazing. And I'm actually friends with all my exes and they're all amazing, to be honest. I really like them. I always say to my girlfriends now, I said, do you want me to introduce you to my ex? <laughs> I think you'll get on, you know? So, um, yeah, so that, so that was one reason. There was a couple of times when I'd stopped fancy the guy and I was just like, yeah, no, I'm not feeling it anymore, but he's a really nice guy, you know, and had all, all the other boxes were all ticked, but yeah, I just didn't feel passion anymore, you know? So, um, yeah, women genuinely live life on easy mode. You will never understand what us men have to live with. Never I disagree with you, Shane. You know, why do you think God did not give you, did not give men to deliver a baby? Why? Because you, you won't be able to cope. Yeah. So I disagree with you. Do you know how many things we need to do? The hair, the nails, constant period. Don't even get me started on that. When I'm turning into a psychopath. Not me personally. You know, when I'm eating like a pig. But yeah, I mean, the list goes on. Right, somebody says here, who the fuck is this guy? Uh, meow, 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 meow. Which guy are you referring to? A ring plus at least 12 months of marriage. Eh? Are you South African? No, I'm Latvian. <laughs> How am I South African? Really? Do I sound South African to you? Bella, what country are you from? You sound South African. I'm South African. Oh, that's new. Um, I'm Latvian, but I grew up in UK. Well, not grew up. From uh, I moved to Latvia when I was 18 or 19. And I'm 38 now. So I spent like 20 years in UK. So hence the accent is all over the place. Right, what else have you got here? Shane Harvey, as a man, I've got to say, that's ridiculous, Homond. Have you not left home yet? <laughs> Do you know what, guys? I like, do you know, this is why I like lives and I don't like create videos anymore. I like to talk to people. Do you know what I mean? Where we have a real conversation like that, you know, when I can read your comments and, you know, respond to them. I don't mind criticism, by the way, as long as it's backed up, 
not by someone's opinion, but backed up by evidence and data. I have a very analytical mind. That's why I think some people say, oh, you're not feminine enough, just because I am very feminine. Is that not feminine enough? You have to see me dance as well. No, but, but yeah, in terms of my mind, I have very analytical uh, mind. Right, what else have we got here? Was he a poor Chad? No, do you know what? This is another thing I was discussing uh, with my girlfriend today. Basically, I have one girlfriend, right? She's doing well financially. Super good looking. Amazing mom. She also divorced, like she's single. Amazing mom. Looks great. Can cook. Clean. Grooming 10 out of 10. Earns money. Speaks two languages. Or every single guy she meets, he's poor. Like very poor. And I was talking to her. I'm like, why are you attracting guys like this? There must be a reason. You must, you, you, for some reason, universe, and I believe in universe, sending you these guys. Do you need to learn something for yourself? Because I always say, you know, you meet people not by coincidence. Every person you meet in your life, like you've just met me in this life, there must be a reason and you will learn something or you will, do you know what, hold on, my hair is hurting. You will be taking away something from this life. You might take away that you can't stand me <laughs> or I am annoying because a lot of people say I'm annoying, but I don't think I'm annoying. But who am I to say? I think I'm actually quite a nice person. But hey. So, uh, yeah. What, to, to answer if he was poor, all my exes are mega wealthy. Like, literally. Even when I was 14, the guy that I was dating in Latvia, he was like the richest kid on block. Yeah. So, in that respect... I've been fortunate. But you know what? It's not about... I said it today, actually. I had a lunch with a girlfriend and we were talking about this whole money and career and blah, blah, blah. I don't think it's about how much the guy earns. Yeah? It's about how much he gives you. Let's imagine you are on 40K and, you know, you spend on your woman 10K and then the guy could be on a million and spend 10k. Do you understand like the, I don't know if I'm explaining it correctly. I'm probably not explaining it correctly. And uh, yeah, because I can't sometimes explain all the things correctly because English is not my first language. Um, but yeah, it's just about how much he gives you, not about what he earns. Because some guys are greedy. So they earn a lot, but they're greedy bastards greedy bastards like i said i was fortunate if any of my exes are watching i love you all guys <laughs> uk boss oh my god money 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 right ronald do you like black black aubergine <laughs> is this the question <laughs> yes i like vegetables no, if you're referring to black, S-C-O-C-K, then I don't. I already said that. I like white guys. Hi, Maisie. What's your favorite color? I like purple. Purple and fuchsia. That's my favorite colors. Right, something about sausage. Okay, Natalia, you're so pretty. Thank you, darling. Uh, favorite color already answer that i'm happy you are well thank you you're clear clearly you're clearly struggle what what do you mean unknown unknown what a great name uh, what, what do you mean you clearly struggle again if you think that to me you are the one that's struggling do you understand because most often people make a judgment or an opinion based on their own insecurities when somebody sees me dancing and they comment oh she's a stripper in Phuket I'm like well, why, why do you think that when people dance they immediately a stripper what if I do dancing because I like it because I want to wear high heels I want to feel feminine I want to learn a new move I want to be flexible 
or if I do it for that. So, you know, it depends, what, you know, of how much, you know, you've got inside you. To find a sucker to marry. Okay, right. Don't ever, don't ever get back with someone who you're sus about. What does that mean, Maisie? Sorry. I don't believe, actually, uh, with getting back with your exes. Because some of my exes was, were trying to get me back after so many years as well. And a few of my girlfriends said, oh, maybe you should try. And I don't think that, that that is the right thing to do. Do you know what my mom says about the broken vase? Have you heard this uh, thing? I don't know if you have these guys in your country. You know when you broke the vase and then you tried to glue it, but you still see all the stitches and all the wrinkles. It's, it's like that with going back with your exes, I think. Because they are the ex for a reason, right? Yeah. Where so you think your bitterness come from? What do you mean bitterness? Where do you see bitterness? Just because I say the things that you don't like to hear. Is that what you consider bitterness? Please explain. G give me facts, bullet points. What is bitterness? To say that the guy needs to pay, ideally needs to pay, on, or for the first date meal? That's not bitterness. That's just my expectation. And if you don't like how I think, then you won't going to pick a woman like me. Very simple. You will find your women. You know? Right. Where are you from? I'm from Latvia, guys. You are refreshingly honest and straightforward. It's a rare thing to see. Thank you, John. You see, you appreciate me for my honesty. Because very often people tell you what you want to hear. Do you understand? Or another way, they don't have balls to say what they truly think. Literally, they don't have balls. So they just tell you what's appropriate, what's acceptable, what everyone else is saying. Do you understand? Whereas with me, I tell you how I truly think. And sometimes... I change my opinion, not sometimes, most of the time, I change my opinion because I grow, I develop, I get new experiences, I change my mind about things. It's like one day I want to be blonde, next day I want to be brunette. So, but at the time, I always say it how it is and how I feel, but this may change. You know, maybe I'll do a live in one month and I'll be like, do you know what, I, a woman needs to pay. <laughs> that won't surprise me. Right, um, th there's a lot of uh, messages, guys, it's held for review. I think you were talking some inappropriate things there, but I'm going to show all the messages. I don't care. Right. Meow, meow, you look like a man and annoying as fuck. Okay, you the definition of a Karen. If any man is smart, they would run as fast as they can from your shit and... I bet they have. You're wrong. This comment suggests to me that you are falling into one of my categories, how I categorize men, is the LBH. So Google it, see what that means. Where are you from? I already said I'm from Latvia. Are you South African? If you're asking me, no, I'm not South African. Poor Chad is a thing. Are you trans? No, I'm not trans. I am a female. I don't relate to you. I don't relate to you. No. Okay, fine. That's okay. Good to know. Hey, there is a great song. If you blast it full volume, I will donate. It's called Energy by Digger. No, I'm not going to be blasting anything. Uh, Bella, she's Latvia. Spent a lot of time in England. Yeah. Yeah, spent a lot of time in England. And now I'm all over the place. Can we stop talking about this? Uh, Maisie, it's my life. FYI, so I decide what I talk about, not you. So if you don't like this live, then you can jog on and exit it. Simple as that. I hope that's clear. Aren't Scandinavian and Nordic ladies all about 50-50 relationship? I'm not sure. I'm not Scandinavian or Nordic, so I wouldn't know. But I have a few girlfriends from Denmark and... Switzerland and they yeah they go on dates and they pay 50 50 
But again, I can't talk about the entire population in those countries because I only have a few girlfriends. But do you know how they, they refer to their men that they fucking a waste of space and they would never marry one. They literally, they say to me, don't come to Denmark, all the guys are losers. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. You're unleashing the truth tonight. I'm. What do you mean unleashing the truth? I always say the truth. I always say the truth. I always answer questions. It's just sometimes people don't ask me questions, so I have nothing to answer. But I'm always open. Right. When do you need a man if you can do all by yourself? Who said that I can do it all by myself? I've never said that. There are a lot of things that I can't do by myself. So, again, you making shit up. When did I say that I want to do everything by myself? This is the problem nowadays. People have no ability to listen. They don't have active listening skills. I'm telling you and you're not listening. Zero attention to details as well. I don't relate to you. I don't relate to you. Oh, okay. Just, Bella is driving me insane. Maybe I should block her or him. Hello from Thailand. Hi. Trying that in Netherlands. Nice top. Thank you. Child, get the poor bloke to put a ring first. Who said I want to get married first of all? Why do you guys think that all women want to have kids and all women want to get married and wear a white dress? I can wear a white dress any day. I don't need to have a special occasion to wear something nice. Every day is a special occasion for me. You know? My purpose is lie in life is to live. A lot of people are like, oh, I need to get there. And these are the most lonely and unhappy people where they constantly think about the end goal, constantly think about you know, oh, what am I meant to do? What's my career? What's my title? My purpose in life is to be where I want to be, uh, yeah, and do what I want to do. Yeah. Hello, hello from UK. Hi, guys. If you give me a shout out, I will subscribe. Okay, FT Edit. Shout out to you. Hi, you look like a model. Thank you, darling. Ring, get your dream ideal guy to marry you. I haven't met him yet. Once I meet him, then I'm sure it's all going to happen naturally. But I don't need to get married. I will be very brutally honest with you. For me, I don't see a point. For sure, I don't want the fucking wedding. You know, where you invite the people that you don't even give a shit about you and then all they do is complain about the food and say oh that wasn't quite good oh you know they didn't spend enough money there definitely don't want to do the, the wedding so if you want to marry me at least you know you don't need to spend on a wedding <laughs> but I do want a nice ring the reason I want a nice ring not because I'm a gold digger is because I want to wear the ring and be proud that my guy can afford the fucking ring like this like, boom, in your face. So it's more of a proud moment, you know, because I want to be proud. I want to show off my guy. No, not to the internet, but to my family, to my friends, you know. I want to be proud that he can afford the ring like that. Yeah, so I'm not worried about the wedding. Honeymoon, my life is a honeymoon. So again, not worried about that. Yeah. So I'm not that bad, guys. Have you ever been in a relationship with a handsome Englishman? Yeah, I've actually only been with one Russian guy, Russian speaking guy. All my relationship, Irish, English, American. But that's it. To be honest, I find it difficult to be with a Russian speaking guy because they're just a bit, a bit strange. Yeah, I get on the best with UK people. That's for sure. Oh, my battery is 10%. I might need to go soon. Uh, you clearly love chads. Okay. Yeah, I've already given a shout out. Right. I would like to meet you, but I'm from Germany. Okay. Well, I'm in Thailand right now. 
so you know where I am if you want to meet me come over I'm Alpha Chad well when we say Chad what does that mean am I being I don't understand what it means with with sigma tendencies basically under okay by this nonsense wow you're kind of a terrible per wow you are a kind of a terrible person why am i a terrible person can you explain this with some facts as well please not just because you think i'm a terrible person just give me some facts please she's honest enjoying the honesty yeah i like your smile and skin ah oh, thank you darlings uh, John, you're a bit of an idiot. <laughs> John, look, now my haters are going to be after you because you like me. They're going to be slagging you off. But don't take notice. People who hurt inside hurt others. So just feel sorry for that gang, shillis, whatever the name is. You're so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Ban me. Mm, I can't be bothered to press the button. Plus, I can't really do it on the phone. It needs to be done on the laptop. So you're old and single. That's sad. Well, I'm not old. I'm 38. I don't consider 38 as old, first of all. And being single is not always sad. Maybe you sad because you're single. Not me. You love my hair. Thank you. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. Curly. Let it all. Um, I'm South African and you don't sound South African at all to me. Yeah, I've never said I do, so I'm not sure why you're saying it. Uh, you sound Eastern European. I am Eastern European. She does not say, oh my God, now we're going to talk about me sounding South African or not sounding okay. Can you show me your muscles? Do you do anything else? Fuck shit. Do you know what? Something when, when people comment uh, rude stuff in their lives it always makes me think why are they so dumb that they need to swear right to attract the attention it's the same when i see people screaming i'm like you want to be heard and that's why you shout i never shout i attract attention in a different ways by what i say <laughs> So the cool man tried to think of a different ways to uh, have the attention, you know. Normal, no, no normal guy won't tolerate you more than five months. You don't have to write this in Russian as well. I do speak English and I can understand what you write. So I don't understand why you need to write the same thing in Russian. Do you not think I understand English or what? Don't get it. She's pulled the hair down, lads. <laughs> Can you lean your arm on a passenger seat? No. I'm Alpha Sigma. Okay, please. Can I give you 500 euros? <laughs> yeah, you can give me 500 euros. There's a super thanks button just below this. So instead of talking shit, again, this is if you want to be a real man, Stop talking the talk the talk. You know, do some action. Well, this is what we women appreciate. Most guys say, oh, this and that. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. It's like this, you know, how can I say? It? Let me translate it. It's like this noise, background noise, you know. Instead of saying it, just do it. Do you, de do you date men with no teeth? Absolutely no. For me, eyes, height, teeth, what I appreciate. How often do you flick the bean? What does that mean? How much is a woman spending on him? Women earn these days. Can you lean on a da da da? I have to go to work, blah, blah, blah. There's again... There's a lot of uh, messages held for reviews. I woke up in town and I feel like I won the lottery. I had six matching balls. Turn out I just had a threesome. Okay. Right, this is turning into some not interesting for me life anymore now. Do you have any new LBH stories? 
Can I drive around? Well, I am driving around. I'm driving a car. Uh, any LBH stories? Yeah, I've had a couple. I went to this spa and I overheard a few conversations. Oh my God, I was sitting there and I was like, Natalia, you are right. <laughs> but saying that, actually, I met quite a few guys this time who are not LBH. So I was like, hmm, maybe there are some other guys traveling to Phuket that are not all LBH. So maybe I'll change my opinion. Can you see if you have a passenger for you? You always need me, blah, blah, blah. Please name a car for an edit. Sorry that I didn't mean to be rude. It was just a song. Okay. Would you be happy with a 10 grand lab grown diamond? 10 gram? 10 carat you mean? Yeah, I'd be happy with three. Carat, good quality though. Again, for me, it's not the quantity, it's the quality. Uh, right. The white dress is relatively a new phenomenal. Just a diamond ring for an engagement is a new style choice after World War. Yeah, like I, I can wear a white dress any day. I can dress up any day. I can travel to any countries I can travel. So I don't have to have a honeymoon to travel somewhere. I can like get up and go and do it now. You know, I don't have to get married. So I'm getting too hot. It's like plus 40. It's plus 33 outside and it's 6.30 in the evening. <gasps> Kill me right now. Um, you are beautiful. Thank you, guys. You're just wow, looking amazing. What's up with your attitude? What's, what's up with my attitude? I hate my life. My parents just got divorced. Yeah, but it might be better. You know, when my parents got divorced, I was celebrating it. I was like, yes! No more arguments. Yes, they can be both happy and I can actually have a quality time with both of them. Uh, separately so don't worry about your parents being divorced it actually might be better my dad put more effort actually when they divorced we're spending time with me giving more things so I loved it to be honest so sorry about that uh, I wish I could hug you blah 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 can you lean your arm Manu you mentioned that already. Do you not get the message that I'm not going to be leading my arm? Why you keep repeating yourself? Just because you repeat yourself doesn't mean I'm going to do it. So you just need to drop it. Hello, beautiful. How are you? Any self-proclaimed alphas are not alphas. Okay. Good morning. Uh, okay. Okay. How the morning? Da, da, da. Show Natalia some respect, guys. She's talking time out to provide this live without acting the idiot. Yeah, no, thank you, Alan, for sticking up for me. I appreciate that. Uh, what do you what do you look for in a woman? Do you mean what I look, Jake? For me, feminine is very important when the woman is feminine when um, she looks after herself, puts an effort in, and that applies to skin, hair, nails, figure, health, etc. Uh, where she is focusing on her growth in terms of like mentally, spiritually, educationally. Um, yeah, there's many things I look in a woman. Um, okay. Am I homeless? Yes, I am homeless, actually. I live in this car. So if anyone can donate any money so I can actually rent the room, I'd really appreciate that. Can you please say hi? Hi, Ellie. Hi, Emily. Hi to whoever is here. Say hello. Hi, 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 hi. Cleanest UK resident teeth. I'm not British. You're so pretty. Thank you. Guys, there's too many messages. Can't be bothered to read. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, hi from New Zealand. Anyway, we started talking about guys and everything. Anyway, let me just summarize this message or this, this live. Um, I want to tell you guys that if you want to find a high quality woman, right? then put the work in. It will pay off, trust me. Don't be a pussy, make an effort, you know, take a risk. You know, if you're a guy, take a risk. Uh, what else? 
pay for the first date, you know. Um, what other recommendation I can give you guys? Yeah, and if you want a woman, a 10 out of 10, then become a 10 yourself, you know. Look after your body, look after your health, look after your grooming, so you can look apart, you know. Because we women look at that as well, so... You know, you want a slim, nice lady wearing high heels. Well, we also want somebody who looks after themselves, smells good, you know, and go to hygienist twice a year to clean teeth. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go now. I'm going to go and eat my dinner. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this live. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And my channel is about all sorts of stuff. I can't even define what my channel is about. That's why I never say what my channel is about because I don't fucking know what my channel is about. And uh, yeah, if you in Pukia, give me a shout. You could treat me for dinner. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Mwah.